Okay, water leak, 200 TDI. This is the equivalent of the 300 TDI's P gasket. And what we have here is the uh, gasket, which joins this casing to the block. And you can see a crystallized amalgamation of antifreeze. Now, this is the whole cover that has to be removed if this gasket is gonna be changed. What else I found with this cover is that there's corrosion on the mating surfaces which doesn't do it too good for putting the timing case cover back on so if you see here you can see where it has uh, sulified or the aluminiums corroded you can see by this offending gasket at the top of the gasket you can see where the fluids come out and it's run down the block okay you can see that at the top It's not much of a setback, but it's something that is going to take time to sort out. I now have to clean off the gaskets and make sure I can fit the uh, new gasket on with no problem. Just a little tip here, I'm actually using Scotch Bright, which uh, comes from the kitchen. This is similar to what the um, bodywork specialists use, and it's very good for cleaning the surfaces of metal up before putting the gasket back on. As you can see here, that's uh, made a very nice job of this. Generally, whenever I'm doing any assembly work, I always make sure that the threads are cleaned out and I always have a tap handy to do this job. This is quite important and I'm going to show you why. One thing that is worth checking, especially doing the 200 TDI gasket, is checking the core plug. That's quite important. So anyway, I've cleaned off the faces here and you can see the gunk that's come out of the threads and it's not anywhere as bad as what it is on the casing. Now, you see the casing here is actually split away and there's silicon stuffed up in here. The only gasket available is actually silicon to glue this to the ladder frame. Going a bit further, also cleaning out these threads, which is where the water gallery is, where the water passes through. This is a blind hole. So this is also in danger of splitting if it has stuff stuffed in there and pulling this out there is silicon in there and there's quite a bit what will happen see that what will happen is that if there's too much pressure applied and the pressure can't go anywhere it will find the weakest spot so the last thing you want to find is that you have an oil leak into the casing and looking back at our crack casing you can see the two blind holes here and they actually lead into the casing itself okay all right so you can see that this wouldn't be nice to have oil in here and it wouldn't be nice for this timing case to crack. So it's just something to keep in mind when you're doing a rebuild or doing any repairs. Make sure that any blind holes are clean, that you don't have oil or silicon in them. One thing with the uh, timing case on the TDI, you also have a stick-on gasket which you should never forget to put on. What this does is actually keep the timing case completely even when you bolt it up so it doesn't distort and it won't crack when you tighten the bolts up. Anyway, you have two bosses here which locate your gasket and unfortunately this gasket doesn't want to sit by itself and maybe some of you know this, maybe some of you don't. The best way to make a gasket sit you could either use some spray on gasket which helps the gasket sit into place and this one's quite a good one. This uh, Hylomar stuff is pretty good. It will make it stick so I'm happy to maneuver it into place. The other thing that I do with a bigger gasket is use grease on the gasket if it's a paper gasket. Now this helps it stick into place so you can maneuver it how you like while you're positioning it and you won't have troubles positioning the bolts or having the gasket stick out in the wrong place. So it's just a matter of smearing the gasket all the way over with grease and then fitting it into place like this and that will help it stick. So while the timing case cover is actually being fit into place, that will stay there and it won't move and you've got two hands to do this job because it is actually a little bit awkward to get it positioned and then tap it on into place. Okay, anyway, I know that's there and the bolts go straight in a special sequence for the 200 TDI which you can find in the manual. What I also do, just to make sure the gasket's alright, I've bolted this up and I've also used a couple of slave bolts as well. 
on the water gallery so I can go ahead and put my timing gear back on now. <laughs> 